everyone. Welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am back with another set guide and review, and this is one of my favorite ones to do every year. It is 2022 Bowman Baseball time. Obviously, it's a super expensive set, but it's also super collectible. So is it worth the price? Who should we be buying into when we buy into breaks? Well, I'm going to break it all down in this often imitated, never duplicated, one cent sports cards, 2022 Bowman Baseball set guide and review. So the time is upon us. 2022 Bowman Baseball is set to release. We've got a whole new batch of prospects. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to cover in this set guide and review. And what we're trying to do is figure out how good this set really is. And we do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating. And what we'll cover off on today, the overall set highlights of 2022 Bowman Baseball, all of the different buying formats it's going to be available in. We're going to cover off on the key prospects we're searching for, all of the other key cards we're looking for, cover off on the parallels, the inserts, the autos. And then I'm even going to give you six teams that I think you should target in breaks. And I'll tell you where all 30 teams lie in regards to how good or bad they are when we're getting into breaks using my break cheat sheet and that's what brings us to the one cent sensational set ranking where we find out how good 2022 bowman baseball really is and we'll wrap everything up by telling you where it ranks with every other set that has been released so far in this 2022 baseball card collecting season so if you're ready i'm ready to tell you but before we begin be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button for me. It's the best way you can support the channel. And if you like the content, please subscribe so you can see all of the set reviews that come out in the 2022 collecting season. If you want to see them first, you got to hit that bell notification. And finally, if you have not checked out my Patreon page, that's where you can get into my breaks. That's where you can get monthly packs. That's where you can get break discounts. That's where you can get Discord community access and so much more. Link in the description below. Check it out. I invite you to join. So here we go. The 2022 Bowman Baseball set highlights. First thing to know, super popular prospect set and it is the first of three yearly releases that come out underneath the bowman moniker this year we have a 250 card checklist that will have 100 vets and rookies and 150 prospects bowman is in its 42nd year of production started all the way back in 1948 came back in 1989 and has been going all the way through the present this year we have a huge parallel rainbow, 12 paper colors and 22 chrome colors. It is going to be widely available all over the place, hobby and retail. They have 87 first Bowman cards in the base set checklist this year. That is a huge number. There will be SP rookie image variations returning for 2022. And we have four new insert sets for 2022 as well. We have high tech futures. You can see that over on the right. Virtuosic vibrations, odd insert name right there. Bowman in 3D and Bowman Invicta, which you may remember from last year, but it is a first in Bowman baseball. Buyback autographs are again going to be available this year. And of course, the ultra popular mega box is going to be in the retail format. Good luck finding that one. And then it is widely considered the best prospect card in the hobby. And some of these cards can become some of the most sought after cards, most valuable cards on the secondary market. Also to note, there are no relics found in this set. So what are the different buying formats we can get this in? We'll start with hobby and we can get a hobby case. There's going to be 12 boxes in a case, 24 packs per box, 10 cards per pack. That'll get you 2,880 cards and the current price, not cheap, 4,765 bucks online. That'll get you a cost per card of $1.65. What are you guaranteed to get? 12 autographs and 12 Bowman Invicta inserts. 
if you don't have basically five grand to drop, drop down to the hobby box. 24 packs per box, 10 cards per pack, 240 total cards. That will get you to $399 on a current online price. Cost per card creeps up to $1.66, and you will get one autograph and one Bowman Invicta insert. But we have more hobby. We have the jumbo HTA cases. Eight boxes, 12 packs per box, so 32 cards per pack. 3,072 total cards. Current price, $6,350 online. And the cost per card, above $2, $2.06. Guaranteed to get 24 autographs, though. If you get the box, that's going to have 12 packs per box, 32 cards per pack. Get you 384 total cards. They are going for around 800 bucks online right now. Your cost per card, that shouldn't say $1.08. That should say $2.08. But... If you're looking for autographs, you're going to get three of them in that Jumbo HTA box. For our retail, obviously we have the super popular Mega Box. Six packs in that box, 10 cards per pack, 60 total cards, and it will cost you 60 bucks this year. Your cost per card is going to be a dollar, but you do get the two Mega Box Chrome Packs, which will give you 10 Mojo Refractor super collectible cards right there. That's why they are popular. You can also get a blaster box. They're actually available now. Came out a little bit early. Six packs per box, 12 cards per pack, 72 total cards. They're going for 32 bucks over at Walmart. So your cost per card going to be 44 cents. That will be your lowest cost per card format. Fat packs are going to be available. 19 cards in the pack. Cost you 10 bucks. Cost per card, 53 cents. But you are guaranteed to get 10 prospect cards. There's also going to be the value packs. Two packs, 12 cards Per pack plus a five camo border card pack so 29 total cards cost you 15 bucks cost per card 52 cents and you do get the five paper prospect camo border cards now one thing to note on that it is not confirmed that those are actually out they have just done it for years so i'm assuming they're going to do it again in 2022 so what are the key base prospect cards? Super important here. They're the first Bowman cards, first time they show up on a licensed product. So what are the key prospects that we're going to be chasing? Well, we'll cover off on most of them. We have Johensky Noel, Khalil Watson, probably leading the pack, probably the biggest chase card coming out of the blocks. Curtis Mead, also a big one. Oswaldo Cabrera over on the Yankees. George Valera. Elijah Tatis. Ellie De La Cruz. Colson Montgomery. Jackson Chirillo. Averson Ortega. Max Muncy with the A's. That is not the Max Muncy that you know and love with the Dodgers. We also have more. We have Matt Frazier. Ian Lewis. James Wood. Joshua Baez, Jonathan Clace, Dustin Harris, Trey Sweeney, and Alan Serta. So what are the other key cards we're going to be chasing? Well, we have our parallels, autos, and inserts. Obviously, the Chrome, first Bowman, parallels, and autos, super sought-after cards, definitely a key card. We have the rookie image variations. There are those Bowman buyback autographs. We have Bowman Invicta inserts and autos. Those are one per hobby box. The Bowman Ultimate Autograph Book Card. If you pull that, it is an amazing card. 24 different autos. It's in a book of some of the biggest prospects in the game. Super popular card. We have the Chrome Rookie Autographs and Dual Autographs that are going to be available this year as well. We have the Bowman in 3D inserts, and they come in an auto format. Those are some really cool cards right there. The Chroman Prospector Die Cut, which actually returns this year. They started it last year. Each one of those is going to be numbered to 49. We have the Virtuosic Vibrations inserts and autos, the Mega Box Mojo Refractors, and the Bowman Top 100 returns again for 2022. We've got inserts and autos from those cards. So... What are all the different parallels we're going to chase? We'll start with the paper. We've got sky blue, neon green, fuchsia, purple, blue, green, which is available in retail only, yellow, gold, orange, which is available in hobby only, and then we get this ultra rare red, platinum, and printing plate one of ones. For our chrome, 
the rainbow expands. We've got refractor, speckle, purple, fuchsia, fuchsia lava, blue, blue shimmer, aqua, aqua shimmer, green and green shimmer, which are both available in retail, the mini diamond green, the yellow, the yellow mini diamond. For our hobby exclusive, we have both the oranges to 25. We've got orange and orange shimmer. We've got gold and gold shimmer, red, red lava, printing plates, and super fractor one of ones. You can see what the gold looks like over there with the Colson Montgomery on the right. So what are the different inserts that we're chasing? We'll start out with the Bowman in 3D. There's going to be 20 cards in that insert set. Parallels of Atomic, Aqua, Gold, Orange, Red, and Super Fractor. We have Bowman Invicta, which you can see over on the right. Again, 25 cards in that one with a similar parallel breakdown. Bowman Scouts Top 100 in there every year. Obviously, 100 cards in that subset with a decent parallel rainbow as well. We also have that Prospector Special Die Cut. That's going to be 20 cards, only available in Hobby, and they're each numbered to 49. Very cool cards if you can grab one. More inserts. We've got the High Five Futures. 25 cards with a decent parallel rainbow. We have the Rookie of the Year favorites, again returning for 2022. 15 cards in that subset with the parallel rainbow you see on screen. Then we have a super cool looking Virtuosic Vibrations. Not a fan of the name, but a fan of the design of the card. 20 cards in that insert set with the Atomic Aqua Green, Gold, Orange, Red, Super, Fract super Fractor, Rainbow. Now, what are the autographs? Well, we have the All-American Under Armour Autos. Only five cards in that subset. Very cool cards if you can hit them. Some big names from the All-American Under Armour game. So that is our first one. No parallel rainbow. We also have the Bowman Buyback Autos. There's 17 different players, and you can go look online to see who those players are. But those are going to be past kind of retired stars. Very cool ones if you can get them there on old Bowman baseball card designs. We have the Bowman in 3D autos. You can see what that looks like over on the right with the Jaron Duran. They're all going to be numbered to 99, and there are 10 cards in that autograph set. Then we also have Invicta. Those have an autograph version, nine cards as well, with the small parallel rainbow. And the Bowman Prospects autos. Those are going to be the paper ones that are only available in retail. 21 cards in that subset with the purple, blue, green, gold, orange, red, and platinum parallel rainbow. We have more autographs in Bowman. We have the Bowman Scouts Top 100 autos, only 48 cards in that subset, and only a Super Fractor parallel. And then there's that Bowman Ultimate Autograph Book Card. Comes with 24 autos, one card, but there are 10 copies of it, and it will have the 24 autos, which is just amazing. Then the ones that everyone's looking for, the ones that you're going to pull in most packs. Chrome Prospect Autos, 89 cards in the auto checklist, and they are not all numbered to 99. Not sure why that's there, but we have a giant parallel breakdown. You can see what that is on screen. And keep in mind, some autos that you're going to find in the Chrome Prospect Autos, they are available in auto-only format. So they're not in the base set, but you can get some first Bowmans that are auto-only. I would think that one of the biggest names that you're looking for is going to be Oscar Colas of the White Sox. He is only available as an auto in this set, but that will be his first Bowman. It's going to be a big card. We also have the Chrome Rookie Autos, 19 cards in that autograph set with a very nice parallel rainbow as well. But wait, there's more autographs. We have the Dual Bowman Prospect Autos. That's going to have six cards in that subset, each number to 25 with the Super Fractor 1 of 1. The Rookie of the Year favorites, they have an autograph version as well. Eight cards, and they are numbered to 150. And then we've got the Gold, Orange, Red, Super Fractor Breakdown. And the Virtuosic Vibrations autographs. There's 15 cards in that one. And we have an orange, only available in Hobby, and Super Fractor Parallel Rainbow. So, that's what Bowman is offering us. And there's going to be a ton of breaks. Case breaks, multiple case breaks, box breaks, HTA jumbo breaks. 
It's going to be competitive in the breaks. They're going to be expensive. So how do we spend our money wisely? Well, we go look at a deep dive into the checklist and figure out which teams are the best. So I'm going to give you six so you don't got to do all of that. My first one will be who I think the best team is. And I'm going with the Miami Marlins, and that's because the big chase card in this is Khalil Watson. That's probably the biggest prospect we're chasing. Because of that, that's why I'm choosing the Marlins. To be fair, the Marlins overall do not have a ton of different cards in here. They've got eight base, two rookie cards, four Bowman firsts, eight inserts, and seven autos. Not a bad team at all, but if you're buying the Marlins, they're going to be expensive because that's where Khalil Watson is. That is your chase with the Miami Marlins. They're going to be top dollar. If you do them in a pick your team, you know what you're going after. If you score them in a random team break, you probably want to keep them unless you're chasing some specific prospect on another team. Pretty much anyone will trade with you if you land the Marlins, but I would keep them. If you're looking for the most autos, go look at the Boston Red Sox. They've got 12 base cards, two rookie cards, four first Bowmans, 15 inserts, and a whopping 17 different autos you can pull. Now, a lot of the autos not going to be big on the first Bowman autograph. If you're looking for that, it's going to be Brian Bale. But there are some other big names you can pull, like Marcelo Mayer. He's got autos in here. Tristan Cases. Uh, you've got Jaron Duran in here in the rookie autos. So there's a lot of nice autos that you can get out of here. But beware that the Brian Bayo is probably the biggest first Bowman auto that you can pull from the set. Again, though, if you're buying into a case break, the Red Sox are probably going to deliver. And if you're buying in... To a random team break, you might be able to trade for the Red Sox. I don't know. I think they're going to be pretty expensive because they've just got a ton of autos and it's going to be a tough team to get. If you can get them at the right price, though, in a pick your team break, I think the Red Sox are probably going to deliver at a pretty high rate of return. If you're looking for the most rookie cards, not prospect cards, but rookie cards. Look at the Tampa Bay Braves. We've got 10 base cards, four rookie cards, two Bowman firsts, 12 inserts, and 10 autos. Now, I think the Rays are also going to be a very expensive team. Curtis Mead is one of the biggest prospects in this set coming out of the blocks. And there are Wander Franco rookie cards in there, uh, Vidal Brujan autos. So again, it very much goes back to like top series one. Because of the rookies, we've got big ones in there. We've got a big chase card in Curtis Mead. Uh, this will probably be one of the top five most expensive teams you can buy in a pick your team break. And then with a random team break, if you hit them, just keep them. Look for that Wander auto if you can get it and just get the gravy with the Curtis Mead Vidal, Brujan, stuff like that. But keep in mind, they do only have two Bowman first. One of them's Curtis Mead, obviously. But the Tampa Bay Rays, in my opinion, I think are going to be overpriced. I'm not saying don't buy them, but make sure you get them at the right price because the first Bowman prospect autos are really what you're chasing here. And Curtis Mead is not going to show up in every case. Just know that. If you want a really solid choice, and what I would say is my personal pick for what I would chase, the Chicago White Sox are absolutely freaking stacked in this set. They've got 12 base cards, two rookie cards, six first Bowman prospect cards. We've got seven inserts and a lot of autos at 14. And the autos are good ones. You've got Colson Montgomery. He's one of the big chases in this set Elijah Tatis, Tatis, Tatis Jr.'s younger brother. We've got uh, Cespedes, Oscar Colas. He's got an auto only first in this set. The whole team set checklist is loaded. There's a ton of good cards in there. The Chicago White Sox, probably going to be top three most expensive team. I think that the Marlins and the White Sox are kind of neck and neck. In my opinion, I think the White Sox have a lot more to offer if you're buying into a case break or in like an HTA jumbo break. I think you'll probably get better results from the White Sox than you will with the Marlins 
on a single box or you know quarter case break, half case break, something like that. The White Sox might be the better team. I get what we're doing with the Marlins with the Khalil Watson chase, but the White Sox, as this set kind of matures, I think actually will bubble up to probably one of the best teams in the set. If you get them in a random team break, hold them, hold them, hold them. Do not let them go. Now for my first sleeper. I'm going to go with the San Francisco Giants. They're not a ton of big names in the Giants, but I think there's some good sleeper prospects that you can find with the Giants, and they have a decent amount of cards that you can get box in and box out. They've got 10 base, 6 first Bowmans. We've got 9 inserts and 6 autos. You're looking for Averson Ortega and Marco Luciano autos. And the other thing, there's a ton of first Bowman prospects. So the Giants, probably a team that you could steal, trade for in a random team break. Probably going to be middle of the road price-wise in a picker team. You might be able to get one on the cheap because Averson Ortega, although there is some hype around him, he is not considered like one of the top three chases in this. And I think he's got a pretty high ceiling. And we've got those six other first Bowman prospects. If you're buying into a case break, the Giants are going to deliver a lot of chrome prospects into your lap so they're going to be middle of the road i think it's a great sleeper team i also have the cleveland guardians as a sleeper now they do not have a ton of cards in the set they've only got six base but they do have five first bowmans they also have six inserts and five autos you are looking for Johensky Noel and George Valera autos, which are two very nice autos that you can get. And I don't think the Guardians are actually going to be that expensive. George Valera has quite a bit of hype behind him. He is showing up on a lot of the these are the ones you want to chase videos and stuff like that. They'll be kind of expensive, but I don't think they're going to be like top 10 expensive. So definitely look at the Guardians. Some of those cards I think could mature real well especially that George Valera. And keep in mind, you've got five different first Bowman prospects in there. So if you can trade for them in a random team break, go ahead and do that. If you get them in a random team break, I would just hold them unless you can get one of these other teams on the list. Pick a team break, buy them at the right price. You'll be doing well. Don't expect to get a ton of cards back, but do expect to get a lot of first back. So those are the six teams that I would target in breaks, but I'm also going to give you where I think all 30 teams lie. I'm going to give you the top tier teams that I don't think you can go wrong with a second tier, which are, Hey, they might not return every time, but they're not bad teams to have. If you land them in a random team break, you're probably fine getting any of the second tier teams. But then we also have our bottom tier, which are teams that I would recommend to steer clear of. So let's start with the top tier. We've got a lot of teams in the top tier. It's a good set this year. We've got the Tampa Bay Rays, the Miami Marlins, the Chicago Cubs, which surprisingly have 12 different autos. Now they only got two first, but the Cubs do have a ton of content overall on the set. The White Sox, we covered off on them. The Red Sox are great. The Yankees, they have 14 autos as well, and they have three firsts. So the Yankees going to be a pretty expensive one. The Pittsburgh Pirates, well, they're always going to show up high until that team gets better on the field because it is a Bowman prospect set. So the Pirates sitting there with 14 autos. They've got five firsts, 14 inserts, a very nice team there. We've got the San Diego Padres as well. They've got 10 autos and a little bit of a surprise here with the Reds, but I have the Reds in here because Ellie De La Cruz is a big chase. They've got nine different insert or nine different autos, four different inserts, and they also have six Bowman first cards as well. So any of these teams are going to be great teams to get in breaks. For our second tier, we've got the Guardians. That's one of my sleeper teams. Because this is not a big set with the rookies and the vets, uh, the Angels fall out of the top, although they do still have some nice rookies. But in fairness, their first Bowman cards are not fantastic in here. The Giants are okay. Uh, we've got the Washington Nationals. They've got six different autos. Look at the Mariners. That may be another sleeper team here. They've got seven different autos that you can get out of there. They do have two firsts as well. 
So this would be kind of my second tier. And then as we drop down to the third tier, teams I would definitely stay away from. The Houston Astros show up on here. They got obliterated in the draft in recent years because of the trash can scandal. The Rockies, for whatever reason, they are just not a good team to have in 2022 in any set. They have not made it out of the third tier yet in 2022. The Atlanta Braves take a big fall from grace. They're a great team to get over in Series 1 and a lot of those type of sets. But here, they are one of the worst teams. They only have got one auto. They do have two Bowman firsts, but two rookie cards, three inserts, seven base. Just not a lot that they are offering. The Oakland A's kind of fall into that same category. One Bowman first, two autos. Just not a lot going on there. And a little bit of surprise with the New York Mets. Again, only two autos, one first, four inserts, and eight base cards. Just not a lot. If you can get one of these teams super cheap, maybe you get lucky. But overall, I would steer clear of these bottom tier teams. So what teams are you targeting in breaks? Let me know in the comments below. I love responding to the comments. I respond to most of the ones that are worth responding to. And let me know what you think about the break cheat sheet and what teams you really want in 2022 Bowman. So with all that, it's time for the sensational set rating. Let me give you what a quick explanation of what that is. First of all, like I said at the beginning of the video, this stuff gets imitated. You see other videos out there that say it's a Bowman review, and then they just open a few packs. That isn't what this is. This is the most in-depth rating system on the internet. I break the set down into 10 different categories, and each category is worth 1 to 10 points. Then I add up all of those points, and that's what gives us our sensational set rating score using that scale that you see below. So we're going to rate this set adding up all of those points. Then what I do is I compare the 2022 Bowman set with the 2021 Bowman baseball and 2020 Bowman baseball to see if the set's getting better or if it's getting worse. Then to conclude the video, I will compare 2022 Bowman with all of the other sets that we have reviewed so far in the 2022 baseball card collecting season so we can see where it stacks up against this year's competition. So without further ado, let's get into it. Like I said, we have our scale and we have our 10 categories. Our first category is appeal. I give appeal 9.5. This is one of the most sought after sets in the baseball card collecting hobby year in and year out. I normally would give it a 10. I knocked it half a point because it's really expensive this year. And I believe that's going to turn a few people off. However, People love Bowman. They're going to buy it. tons of appeal here. For the base set checklist, we have 87 different first Bowman prospects. We have a very nice rookie class that is featured in this set. The base set checklist, really strong. I'm going to give it a nine. Our auto checklist, same thing. There's a couple that maybe are missing here, but overall, 8.5 on the auto checklist. It could even be a nine. It's a very st strong checklist. Tons of different first Bowman prospect autos. I think maybe there's a little bit too many, and that's why I have it down at an 8.5, because there will be some filler autos in there. Just know that. But if you hit one of the big ones, and there's going to be plenty of big ones in here, overall, it's a very good checklist. For our inserts, parallels, and variations, I'm going to go nine. We have a lot of new insert sets. Some of them, I think, a little bit better than others. The uh, 3D one looks very cool, but really we get the nine here because of the awesome parallel rainbow that Bowman always offers. Now, a lot of people might say that that parallel rainbow is a little bit too large. I kind of agree with that, but when we're looking at all the rookie variations and everything, the parallel rainbow stuff is only part of the equation here. I hope that in the future, we do get it to where those cards are a little bit more scarce. I am not a fan of the fact that we've got three to uh, numbered to 99s that are available in retail. There's like a bunch of duplicates. Some of these parallels will not be as valuable just because they have color on them. You're still going to be looking for those low numbered ones for your high valued cards. For our pack odds and production run, 
Bowman is going to be available everywhere. The pack runs are going to be way up. I gave it a three, which is a little bit higher than maybe I should have. Here's the reason why. Even though the pack odds are long, the value that some, that it can bring is still pretty decent. But overall, high production run, so I got to go low on it. I'm going a three. For the card quality, I give it a seven. There have been issues in the past with quality control with Bowman, and the some of the paper product is pretty standard paper, just like your top Series 1. But a lot of these Chrome cards, they're beautiful cards. I go ahead and give it a seven. For historical value, this is probably the most valuable set that you can collect in the hobby. So when we look at that secondary market, there's articles. There are cards that go at auctions for millions of dollars that have been Bowman cards in the past. There are a ton of graded cards. It is a very, very valuable set, highly collectible. So I got to give it a 10. For our cost value, here's what that means. What value is being returned on a box or a case that you buy, whether that be a blaster box, a hobby box? I give it a six. The reason I say that, there will be some duds because of high production run. I would love to go higher. And you're not always going to pull a Khalil Watson or an Ellie De La Cruz out of this set. But you will get Chrome cards for the most part. You probably will get a few firsts. And I do think that if you're opening up a lot of this stuff, you're going to hit some bangers here and there. So overall, I think each box is going to be a decent value, not a great value. I go ahead and give it a six. For our artistic value, Bowman always has a fantastic design to it. It's a clean design. I do like the 2022 design as well with like a half border and half bleed card. That's very cool. And we have some great insert sets that are new for 2022. So I go ahead and give the artistic value a seven, just a very pleasing card to look at. And then for collectability, here's what that is. How fun is this set to collect? And that's not just for investing. It's for collectors and people that are into the hobby for more than just trying to turn a quick buck and who watch Sports Card Investor all day. For collectability, I still give it a nine. And here's why. Chasing prospects, chasing your first prospect cards of the team that you love, and getting into the hype around Bowman is totally fun. And on top of that, there's some great autos that you can get for your collection, even if they're not the high-end autos. There's some fantastic looking parallel cards that are just sweet to add to any collection. And if you are an investor, these are great cards to send off to PSA. Great cards to kind of be with and get them graded, see how high you can get them. There is the fun of reselling. If you're an investor, I'm not knocking that at all. I actually do the same thing myself. I had a bunch of graded cards at the beginning of this video that were all Bowman cards. That is a fun thing to do as well. It's a fun set to invest in. It's a fun set to collect. However, I don't give it a 10 for one reason. It is super expensive, and there are people in the hobby that cannot afford to buy into Bowman, especially being that even blaster boxes and stuff right now are going to be 30 bucks a piece. So take that for what it is. What we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these scores and figure out how good 2022 Bowman baseball really is. So we have our sensational set rating scale. And now we're going to find out how good 2022 Bowman Baseball is. This year, it clocks in with a great sensational set rating scale of 78. Not quite to the sensational, but very close. What held it back? It's the pack odds and production runs. If we can get that a little bit lower, this set easily goes into a sensational set scale. So if you can live with that, everything else that this set has to offer is fantastic. 87 first Bowman prospects. That is fantastic. And we've got a bunch of cool inserts, a bunch of good autos, and just fantastic looking cards overall. So a very good set for 2022 Bowman baseball. Last year, we came in at almost the same exact. It was 77.5. So it gets just a tad better. It's a great set every year. But in 2020, interestingly enough, a little bit better. And again, that's because of pack odds and production runs. It was at an 82 back in 2020. It fell into the sensational set. 
So again, it's Bowman. It is a fantastic set to buy into. Uh, I wish that it was a little bit cheaper so we could get some of the younger collectors that maybe only have 10, 20 bucks to throw down because of their allowance. But, you know, that also is a little not the case here because Bowman is very much a big boys collector set and a lot of adults collect it and a lot of the kids don't know who the players are on the cards and in fairness a lot of the adults don't either however with that being said we have it there it is the sensational set rating of 78 for 2022 bowman baseball but how does it compare to all of the other sets that have been released so far this season well it is our first out of six sets so it ranks number one overall and it's not really close it comes in at 78 it is a very good set that bumps tops inception out of the number one spot and to round out our top three we have top series one we have a couple average sets and even one poor set that have also been released in this card collecting season that's heritage don russ baseball and tops opening day so you guys as we're out there in the wild, I hope you have good luck finding some Bowman on the shelves. I hope as you're getting into breaks and ripping packs that you guys can hit some monsters out of this stuff. It's a super fun one to collect. Be sure to throw over to first. Hit that like button for me if you like this content. And also subscribe. Hit that bell notification, all that stuff. And don't forget to check out my Patreon page. That's a great way to buy into my breaks. I'll be doing a break of Bowman next week. So with that... Good luck on your personal pack pulls, and as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Thank you for watching. Have fun ripping Bowman, and we'll see you next time.